Hi there, I'm Aurora and I'm sharing my art journey on becoming the best artist I can be. I decided to go back to art as an adult and I have been drawing a lot the last past year. When you start art, you see a lot of advices that suggest you to explore many techniques, styles and subjects and to always try to get out of your comfort zone, which is true and a good advice. However, in the past year, I noticed that I've been growing as an artist by staying in my comfort zone. And I wanted to share with you today three reasons why I do enjoy my comfort zone as a beginner and now intermediate artist. I am a self-taught artist and I am sharing today my own opinions. I am doing this art talk while showing you the art processes of a series I did on Instagram called the Summer Suites Challenge. I hope you enjoy the process and let's now talk about the three reasons why I enjoyed my comfort zone as a beginner artist. 1. To learn and grow your skills stress-free. Repetition is key when learning something new. By staying in your comfort zone, you allow yourself to refine your existing skills. It is important and helps you to build your own confidence. I studied a lot of anatomy and character design by myself when I was a child. So I wanted to build up on what I already knew and draw more characters in simple environments. It is also good to experiment within your comfort zone because while staying in your comfort zone, you can experiment different styles and variations. In short, the more you repeat, the more you master and you will be soon really good and comfortable with what you draw. 2. To empower confidence and style development. When I started to get comfortable with what I liked to draw, I felt good and by knowing that my character was well drawn, I could focus on other elements around this character, such as lightning, adding more environment or side, char or side characters. It is also a great way to keep being motivated to draw. When you achieve something and you start to do it greatly, you feel more comfortable and you know that you will be able to do it again and this time better. Gaining more confidence will also help you niche down your style. And I feel the more you get comfortable with something, the more you will be able to get out of it by experimenting new things around, if that makes sense. To talk more about the motivation, I feel that you should be able to draw what you want. Even if you are training at drawing an art for one year and that you are, and that you are developing your style with this. For one year I've been focusing a lot on female characters and now I feel like I gained the confidence in my anatomy and character design skills to, draw, to try to draw more male characters and environments. On another note, it feels also really good for your emotional well-being to draw something you're familiar with because it also helps you to lift up the potential pressure to draw. 3. To master time management and artistic consistency. When I try to draw non-stop during one month, staying in my comfort zone helped me to achieve my goals. By staying in my comfort zone and by knowing what I should do, I was able to manage to produce more work within the deadline. By doing something repeatedly, I was able to get comfortable doing it again and again. You can also develop this consistency to become later reliable to future potential on existing or existing clients. Finally, you can leave your comfort zone when you are ready. To summarize, it is also important to draw what you like and be comfortable before stepping out of the comfort zone. It is a good thing to remember that creating art should be a source of joy and fulfillment and that any artistic journey should be a delicate balance between comfort and taking risks. It is also good to listen to ourselves and to know when we are fully ready to take the risks towards the next steps. Now, after almost one year of drawing consistently, I feel ready and feel excited to get out of my comfort zone. I started to draw more male characters and I have been very inspired by the last Sp Spider-Man movie to try something as new as drawing buildings, for example. And you, 
Do you like staying in your comfort zone when learning something new? Let me know in the comments below. You can also let me know which one of the summer sweet girl was your favorite. I hope you liked this art talk and seeing my processes. And if you liked this video, you can push the like button, chat in the comments and subscribe if you want to see my other videos. I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye.